hundreds. In this nugget, the learning objective is to recognise and count in hundreds. A hundred is a fraction, but for any hundreds, the denominator is always going to be a hundred. And remember, the denominator shows the number of equal parts an item or a number is divided into. So let's have a look at this square. It's been divided into 100 smaller squares. So just one square is one hundredth. One out of a hundred. Now see if you can work out what fraction is coloured blue. Pause the video and have a go. Well done if you worked out that the fraction of this square that's coloured blue is 15 hundredths. Now let's add some more colours. Which colour takes up 22 hundredths of this square? Is it the orange or the green? Pause the video and have a go. Well done if you knew that it was green because there are 22 green squares out of the total of 100 squares. And now let's see if you can work out what fraction is orange. Well done, if you got 17 hundredths. So let's look at hundredths on a number line between 0 and 1. So we'll have 10 hundredths. 20 hundredths, 30 hundredths, and so on. But there are some gaps on this number line, so it's your turn to see if you can fill these gaps. Pause the video and have a go. So well done if you got 40 hundredths and 70 hundredths. Now, see if you can work out what fraction would go where the question mark is? Well done if you got 55 hundredths because 55 is exactly halfway between 50 and 60. Now let's have a look at a problem. So, the infants and juniors share a playground but there is a fence that separates the infants play space from the junior's play space. Now it's your turn to work out what fraction of the playground can the juniors play in. Pause the video and have a go. So this is the juniors play area and we've got ten hundredths along the bottom and we've got six hundredths up the side so we can do ten times six to get sixty. That means that the juniors can play in 60 hundredths of the whole playground. But Mustafa says that the juniors can play in 6 tenths of the playground. So let's explore what Mustafa is saying. 60 hundredths is exactly the same as 6 tenths. And you get a hundredth when you divide a tenth by ten. So 6 tenths and 60 hundredths are exactly the same. Now let's have a look at another problem. The teachers created a garden for growing vegetables in one tenth of the infant's playground. So this tenth of the playground was used for growing vegetables and you need to work out how many hundredths is this. Pause the video and have a go. Well done if you knew that one tenth is the same as ten hundredths. Also, both playgrounds have a picnic area for eating outside. The infant's picnic area takes up eight hundredths of the playground. The junior's picnic area takes up two tenths of the playground. Whose picnic area takes up the most space? Pause the video and have a go. So first of all, let's show this on our diagram of the playground. So the junior's picnic area takes up two tenths. 
So we divide the playground into tenths by dividing it into ten equal parts. So two tenths would be this amount of the playground. Now let's have a look at eight hundredths. So we need to now divide the playground into hundredths. And eight of these hundredths make up the infant's picnic area. We can also now see that the junior's picnic area is 20 hundredths. And when two fractions have the same denominator, we can easily compare them. So 20 hundredths is bigger than 8 hundredths. So the juniors have the biggest picnic space. Well done if you got that correct. Now, see if you can work out what fraction of the whole playground is taken up by both picnic areas. Pause the video and have a go. So well done if you did 8 hundredths add 20 hundredths. You can add these two fractions together because both the denominators are the same. And well done if you remembered that when you add fractions together, the denominator always stays the same. So you only add the numerator. So you should have got 28 hundredths. Well done if you got that correct. So remember, you get hundredths when you divide something or a number by a hundred. And the denominator is always 100. And you also get hundredths when you divide a tenth by ten.